Hey guys, welcome to another My Story. Today's My Story is on bullying, which is something that we touched the aspects of, but we are going to tackle more into today. Um, and first off, I think we're going to start out with the different types of bullying because we have various different types of bullying in the world that are all very harmful to people out there and can be very serious situation in the world. Um, so let's get started. Bullying, first of all, can happen to both children and adults, no matter what the gender is. It can happen to males, females, or um, even adult males or females. Um, but there's physical bullying, which physical bullying includes kicking, hitting, tripping, pinching, pushing, and or damaging property. Physical bullying causes both short-term and long-term damage. And there's also verbal bullying, which includes name-calling, insults, teasing, imitating, shin, rem uh, homophobic and racial remarks, or verbal abuse. While verbal bullying can start off harmless, it can be escalated to levels which start affecting the individual target, keeping reading into this section for techniques to in dealing with the verbal bullying social bullying social bullying sometimes referred to as convert bullying is often harder to recognize and can be carried out behind the bullied person's back and it is designed to harm someone's social reputation and or cause humiliation social bullying includes lying and spreading rumors negative facial or physical gestures menacing or contemptuous looks Playing nasty jokes to embarrass and humiliate, mimicking unkindly, encouraging others to socially exclude someone, and damaging someone's social reputation or social acceptance. Cyberbullying. Cyberbullying can be con overt or convert bullying behaviors using digital technologies, including hardware such as computers and software, such as smartphones or software such as social media, instant messaging, text, websites, and other online platforms. Cyberbullying can happen at any time and it can be in public or private and sometimes only known to the target and the person bullying. Cyberbullying can include abusive or hurtful texts, emails or posts, images or videos deliberating, excluding others online, nasty gossip or rumors, and imitating others online or using their login information. Um, now let's read some actual people that were bullied in um, various places, and we're going to give some advice to them. Um, so this one is from an anonymous person, um, and it says... Hold on. I don't know why, but I've been a victim of bullying my entire life now. 18 years old, this young person is. Um, even by those that were supposed to love me and protect me from this messed up world. I was told I was ugly and had a big nose. I was told I was weird and don't and didn't belong. All I did was try to make others laugh and make be they would like me but it never worked I felt alienated and helpless I moved quite a lot so it was a new scenario frequently from from a while I was a outcast no matter where I went I was always left out of events by the people I called friends ignored with age I didn't I did learn that I cannot please everyone and that if they don't like me oh well with the mindset I gained a small amount of confidence and which attracted a few friends along although on the inside I was never ended in battle in my head I criticized myself 24 7 calling myself ugly or annoying on the inside I was my own worst enemy later in my life I came to the terms that I was gay sometime something I knew I could not change 
no matter how hard I tried, I came out to my friends in ninth grade, of which I received a lot of support from, but yet I still, there, there were those that just seemed to get me staying, they were going to hit me just because I was gay. The situation further endangered my best friend of the time because he chose to stand by me. This would have brought joy to others knowing that they had others to, that cared about them enough to do so. But instead, I felt grief, pain, self-hate, and lack of self-worth because he was put in danger based on my ass assistance and I could do nothing to help. Even though he was not harmed, I felt the anger build up inside of me. Others, sometimes so immature for a while, I w was lost. But over time, I had developed I don't care attitude, but I have also harbored anger I wish I could get rid of, but can't. What I learned through my 18 years of living is that yes, words do hurt, but it only matters if you let it. Things will get better and you must stay true to yourself. Don't confirm from others because even the people who are supposed to love you will make you the worst. It never hurts to put yourself first. See, I read this one because um, this one touches on a lot of things that um, can happen. It, it, it can make you seem like you're being attacked from even your loved ones and um, and others in the world can make it even worse. Um, so it, it is smart to try to talk to somebody, but it can also hurt to talk to others because they might not understand the whole situation. Um, and for this particular person, um, it was great that he had people that supported him through how his um, time being bullied. Um, but there is sometimes where even friends might not understand that they might not be truly helping themselves or helping you out in this situation. In which I totally, totally apologize to him for his experiences because it's something that um, is very tough to deal with. And it is very, very, very um, eye-opening to even hear the words that were he was saying. Um, and another one I'm going to read um, is actually from a bully, um, but we are going to read it um, to see what how it differs, because um, it's called I Changed, um, and I, again, it's from an anonymous person, um, but after this one, I think we're going to go into my story about bullying, so this will be our last kind of story for this. It says, I was a bully. I have been bullied. I've seen the results firsthand. If you been bullied, breathe in, count to ten, and walk away. If that don't work, do what I do. Tell a teacher. Stand up for yourself. And most of all, do not retaliate unless you really have to defend yourself. Never be a bully. I made the mistake once, and I will never happen again. All and all well ends well, anonymous. Just do it, Nike. Remember, contact me, Kay, if I can help you. I'm 13. I have dealt with bullying, but it did not affect me so much because of my role models like Alienation and Jack Young Blood. I love you guys. Stay cool. Um, so this person um, admits that he was a bully, which takes a lot of courage to do, um, and he admits that he was bullied as well, which also takes a lot of courage to do, and he also gave you guys some very, very good advice to kind of stand up for yourself, but do not retaliate unless you must, um, and also breathe in count to 10 and walk away. That's another good um, advice from this person. And also to tell a teacher or an adult, um, they can sometimes help you out. Um, and also friends as well.
so that's something that I applaud this person for doing and I applaud this person for coming out and letting everyone know some ways to deal with that so let's get into uh, my portion of this okay my story uh, portion of this I was bullied a little bit in school but I really don't consider it a lot of bullying um, when I was in public school in Newport um, it was something that I think it was more so because a lot of the kids didn't understand the way I was or whatever um, I had a lot of labels going up because of me doing actions that I didn't understand um, like fighting to go to school even at the school building um, and that probably didn't help me out any um, to other students in the world but a lot of them created labels from that um, and a lot of them kind of quote were in a sense afraid because of that um, and it's something that I really came to me about once um, I got older around like seventh grade around that time is when I realized what was truly going on um, and it was something I didn't really tell my parents right away because it was something that I didn't even understand at the time fully um, but then once I realized it was going on I think it was actually too late to even tell my parents because I had made the transition into cyber school and once I made that transition all the bullying for me went away now um, that's not saying you can't be bullied or mine or in cyber schooling because it is very much possible to do but me personally I never was um, PA distance is something that um, I went to it was another schooling online and it's something that I know they very 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 frown on and and I appreciate that because it's helping students get education and not have to worry about those type of um, things that um, may affect them in the long run like bullying and so PA distance is a great outlet and if you should be bullied on PA distance in like an email or whatever all you would have to do is tell a parent and or a teacher and they should take care of it um, even in there was even times in PA distance where um, I felt like I was going to be bullied because of things that I've done um, but I never I never was and that's something that was truly eye-opening to me I mean it was a whole different situation it was kinda like I was a fish in a shark tank for the first couple of times that I was like made mistakes or whatever and I'm like okay well here we go and it's something that never happened and that shocked me and um so that's pretty much my story on bullying and it, it's something that I truly am dead set against I wish that there's um laws out there and in some places there is laws out there that will fight against bullying um and I think that there should be laws out there no matter where you are against whatever kind of bullying because it is a situation that can cause harm to people long and short term um and um if you are a victim of bullying I highly say I applaud you because it is a very very difficult situation to deal with um, and I would say get some help talk to someone talk to friends parents teachers counselors um, someone that can truly help you um, and um, again count to 10 and breathe as that one person had stated um, and walk away if you can um, and don't retaliate unless you must have to um, and with that said I'm gonna end out this my story Next week's my story will be on non, none other than. Give me a second, because I had to pull up my schedule. Animal abuse, which is another form of uh, bullying in a sense, in the form of animals, and something that I truly despise in the world. Um, so.